I'm gonna talk a little bit about the dumbbell snatch first and then the clean and jerk and some things to consider when doing that. So when we talk about a dumbbell snatch, that is from taking the dumbbell from ground to overhead and there are more ways than one to do this. So first I'm gonna call it traditional. Um, where we had a barbell, we come, elbows come high, it stays nice and close to the body, and we drop underneath, okay? Same thing goes with the dumbbell snatch. This is gonna be more quad dominant, you're gonna keep and use your quads. In any instance, your opposite arm stays out. My eyes, head, and chest stay up. Hex is right in between my feet, that dumbbell stays close to my body the entire time, and I snatch up from the side view. That dumbbell stays close. In another style is more of a kettlebell swing style dumbbell snatch. That's gonna use more glutes and hamstrings. So you can change in between these. If you're quad dominant, you're gonna like the first one. If you're hamstring dominant, you're gonna like the second one. In this, the dumbbell is oriented differently. It's not in between your feet, it's oriented this way. And it also sits back further behind your heels. So when you do this, you're gonna thrust your hips forward before you walk it out up at the top. That dumbbell is gonna come back and it's gonna tap actually just behind your heels so that you can use your glutes and hamstrings. So in that instance, if you wanna switch, you tap behind, okay? From the side view, as you can see, that dumbbell comes out away from my body a little bit. In slow motion, it would be a swing and it'd be a slight bend and press, but it's so fast that it's considered one movement. So, whether your dumbbell is this way or this way, there are different style snatches to use for that. In the dumbbell cleans, note, when you're gonna do a power clean or a squat clean, you start with your feet closer than if you had a barbell, because otherwise, they're gonna be drawing your knees in. So from this instance, with a dumbbell clean, you're gonna wanna come, feet are gonna be closer, drive it up the body, and catch. Now, a couple things to consider. You might want to put your hands towards the front of the dumbbell instead of the rear of the dumbbell. That puts more weight out front and it's more likely that it's going to smack your shoulder. Okay, so from a side angle, this is how you would not want to do it. Okay, versus you have much better control with that. If you're going to do a hang, we have options. A lot of you are going to want to do a hang with your knees in between. Some of you are going to prefer a swing and come up to here. There's not a right way, but the orientation is going to be different. We come straight down, drive it up, or wide legs, drive it up. So I hope those help with some understanding about higher skilled dumbbell movements.